this the next yeah, two. Yeah, we, 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 we planned this. We planned this, see? Definitely. We're ready. My name is Mr. Heller. I am the 6th, 7th grade history teacher. And I was my first year working here and I am half Indonesian and half Chinese Korean. My name is Giovanni Garcia. I'm the director of operations at D-Boys Prep. I'm a proud Puerto Rican and Dominican American. George Wendell James, eighth grade math teacher, African American. My father is Jamaican and my mother is from South Carolina. Mark Andre Atkins Hobie, nationality is uh, two, uh, Nigerian and Jamaican. My father is from Nigeria, my mother is from Jamaica. My name is Kalik Kirkland, and I am the proud principal of the Boys Prep, and I am a proud African American male. My name is Duncan Forsyth, middle school music teacher, and I am British. National Men's Day for me means an opportunity to celebrate the positive male role models that exist in our community. And for me, that wasn't many, uh, so I truly value this day. International Men's Day is very important to me because I think that we need to recognize the influential men across our world um, that made a positive impact on society and how we can continue to have role models that young men can look up to. To me, International Men's Day is an opportunity for men all around the world to strive to be better role models for young men and boys all around the world. It means a uh, time for us to celebrate the different global manhood, mm -hmm. the different shapes, hues, colors, different professions and aspects of what it means to be a man throughout the world. What International Men's Day means to me is to uh, not idolize, but definitely acknowledge all the different men from different nationalities, backgrounds, um, how they pushed our culture forward in terms of education, science, sports. Um, we have to recognize all men from different nationalities. International Men's Day uh, is important to me because it is a representation of myself um, being a of Asian descent and being represented um, in the community. Diversity for me, um, I think about all the people that raised me. So uh, my African-American neighbor that took care of me and my Hispanic cousins after school um, because she was a nice older woman. Um, for me, it is the fact that my older sister is married to another woman and they both helped raise me as well. Uh, for me, as I mentioned, Puerto Rican mom, uh, Dominican dad, different values, but ultimately it leads to me um, and me contributing to my family and being the head of my household uh, for my two sons. Diversity is also very important to me because uh, when I walk away, I think about respecting others' differences. Um, we're all different in some way, whether or not it be um, race, culture, creed, ethnicity, um, sexual orientation, but we need to be able to understand those differences so we can better appreciate them. Diversity is important to me because I believe that all cultures are very important and in fact have a lot to contribute to society and we can all learn so much from it. Not just my, my uh, ethnicity, but everyone's ethnicity I love learning about. Um, where people come from in their cultures. Diversity means celebration. Celebration of people's individualities. Uh, it looks and feels safe as well. Safe for people to show up um, as they best see fit. Diversity means to me melting pot. Uh, many different cultures, sh color, shapes, anything, they're all coming together. Um, everyone is diverse in their own type of way, even if it comes to their thinking, or even if it comes to the way they actually just walk. Um, we should celebrate that. We should always acknowledge diversity, because it's better to be diverse than all everyone to be uniform. To me, diversity is people from all walks of life working together and cooperating.
as a child, um, I went to college knowing a little bit about uh, apartheid and I thought that it was horrific. I remember being on the Morehouse campus where we were there when apartheid came down. That may be giving away my age a little bit. But I will always remember the struggles that Nelson Mandela went through. Uh, and then not only those struggles, but going on to become the president of South Africa. Wow. Um, yeah, Nelson Mandela was definitely an international figure that I definitely admired. Um, my biggest international male figure growing up and to this day is Bruce Lee. Um, I loved his philosophy um, and I loved his uh, way he lived his life. And I always aspired to live by many of his teachings and the way that he wanted to, the goodness he wanted to project in the world. International male figure that I looked up to growing up was Alex Rodriguez. So growing up, I was big into baseball uh, and he happened to be one of the first big uh, Dominican all-stars in the sport, um, earning a 200 plus million dollar contract. Uh, and for me, it was something that was talked about a lot in my household in terms of being baseball. Uh, but for me, the business savviness of him uh, is what drove me uh, to passion to take on finance and business. <laughs> you have so many, don't you? There's a lot of people I look up to. I looked up to, what do I still look up to? I I still look up to Marcus Garvey. Okay. Yeah. Why? I still look up to him because I think that he was a renegade um, in a time where a, what he thought of was revolutionary at that time. Of uh, people, you know, gathering their money together, coming together, and moving away from a country that wasn't welcoming them. Um, and it wasn't just Jamaican. Caribbean blacks that were with them was also different times people identify as African American or black at that time. Um, he's outspoken, definitely. Um, a great speaker, uh, definitely a great salesman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jamaican, absolutely. Um, I have two. Um, the most important one is my father. Um, my father, he instilled his culture in me, the way I am today. Um, so I was really blessed to have him. And I was really blessed to become who I am. Without him, I wouldn't be who I am today. Don't want to knock my mother, but it's International Men's Day. So I definitely want to say my father. Um, another reason why my father is because he also introduced me to someone else, which was Malcolm X at the age of nine. He took me to see the movie. I fell in love with it. I actually saw the civil rights movement at a young age, because um, he was more up north than in the south. He was definitely considered a rebel, a renegade, um, because he was fighting for African Americans, and he wanted us to become where we, not where we are today, but better than where we were back then. He wanted us to be very successful. He wanted the community to come together. And um, at first, he didn't understand what it was he thought Muslims were just blacks, but then went on his pilgrimage to Mecca. And that really showed him that there are many different types of Muslims, all colors, shapes, and sizes. So his thinking became more, instead of becoming skewed, became more wide, became more broad. He was able to see from a different lens. So those two men I look up to, um, and my father, because he introduced me to my ex. An international figure that I looked up to when I was younger was Barack Obama for his intelligence, his public speaking, and everything he stood for. Yeah. International Men's Day. Happy International Men's Day, coming from the math team in eighth grade, Mr. James <laughs> and Mr. Akintobi. It was a pleasure. Yes. On behalf of all of the young men, scholars, kings, is what we call them, at the Voice Prep. I want to wish everybody a happy International Men's Day. Happy International Men's Day.